Let me walk you through something that feels obvious once you see it or figure it out, but almost nobody in the mainstream tech world wants to acknowledge yet. We are living in a moment where the underlying hardware of civilization is shifting. And the strange part is almost everyone is staring at the surface, not at the foundation. Right now, the world thinks that GPUs, graphics processing units, are AI. The two are synonymous to most people. The same way people once thought BlackBerry was mobile computing. You couldn't convince an executive in 2006 that a keyboardless touchscreen would dethrone a device that dominated global business communications. But that's exactly what happened. Not because BlackBerry got worse, but because the world changed around it. The environment shifted. The expectations shifted. The possibilities shifted as the technology got better. And the device that was optimized for yesterday suddenly looked absurd compared to what the future required, right? As soon as iPhones took off, nobody wanted a BlackBerry. And GPUs, the graphics cards we're all using to run these AI models, are in that same exact position. Let's break this down. GPUs were never designed for artificial intelligence. They were designed to push pixels. They were raster engines, math machines meant to draw triangles, shade surfaces, and handle graphics pipelines. AI only landed on GPUs because they happened to be the biggest piles of parallel compute we had lying around at the time. So the entire AI revolution has really been happening on machinery that wasn't architected for it. NVIDIA's genius wasn't building the right hardware, it was building the right software to then bend the wrong hardware into something usable. But bending reality has a cost. A GPU doesn't really want to behave like a neural network runner. The memory layout is wrong. The data movement is wrong. The thermals are ridiculous. Just look at it. The big fans on the sides, it looks like something from the 1990s. The latency is unpredictable. The whole thing is a series of hacks stitched together in a delay of the inevitable. We're running a 21st century phenomenon on 20th century architecture with a cosmetic facelift. And then you look at what AI actually wants at scale, not for demos, not for Fortune 500 training runs, but for the world we're actually drifting into. AI wants local, persistent, low latency memory. It wants SRAM. It wants processing in memory. It wants architectures where data doesn't need to be flung around a motherboard every nanosecond. It wants something more brain-like, memory and compute not separated by a, by a giant energy tax. GPUs are the opposite of that. They're giant heat-producing slabs of VRAM bolted into PCIe cards that live in enormous data centers. They were perfect for gaming, perfect for rendering, perfect for early AI, but they are not the endpoint. They're a bridge, just like the BlackBerry was a bridge between the pager era and the true smartphones. And here's the part nobody wants to say out loud in our community, in the AI industry. When the future is already rendered, everything that's mismatched with that future gets quietly pushed aside. And it doesn't matter how dominant it looks right now, everyone defended BlackBerry until the very week they didn't. The sunk costs, the corporate loyalty, the infrastructure. None of it mattered when the next thing arrived that actually fit the moment. Everything we're doing with edge compute, local inference, satellites, robotics, autonomous systems, none of it wants a GPU, not over the long term. They want APUs. They want memory-centric designs. They want hardware that feels inevitable in retrospect. They want chips that can survive orbit, survive power loss, survive the real world not giant water-cooled metal slabs sitting in a warehouse somewhere. We're at that pre-iPhone moment right now. The entire world is still staring at the BlackBerry. <laughs> and they don't see the touchscreen revolution is quietly forming under their feet. So when I say GPUs are the new BlackBerry, I'm not joking. I'm not being poetic. I'm saying the architectural mismatch here is so severe that history has already decided the outcome. It's just letting the market catch up emotionally. And the weirdest part, just like the early smartphone pioneers, the people building the next era, the memory-centric hardware, the processing and memory chips, the APUs, the low-power edge engines, they're doing all of this quietly. They're not screaming about it on CNBC. 
They're not spamming social media. They're just building the future because they know the world will arrive no matter how loudly people cling to these GPUs. They had their time and place. And BlackBerry did not die because it was bad. It died because it belonged to the wrong era. GPUs aren't bad. They're just not built for what we're doing. Thank you guys so much for listening and stay tuned for more.